Hey, what's up? This is John from Darkest Hour, and you're watching Hardcore Sounds. So, uh, we are sitting here in Nosturi, Helsinki, with the two guys from Darkest Hour. Uh, hello, how's it going for you guys at the moment? Pretty good, pretty good. Excited to be here. It's our first time ever here, so we're really excited to rock out, see what it's like, check the place out. So, uh, how has the tour gone? So far, this European tour. It's been really good. We just finished the whole European Thrash and Burn tour, and so we're just doing these kind of little extra shows at the end, just just for fun and to go see some new places. So, but yeah, it went really well. It was uh, a lot of people coming out and really good crowds, good bands, all around good times. So uh, let's discuss a, a little bit about your early days as musicians. Uh, what made made you pick up guitar and what made I'm a vocalist. Well, I could start. I'll start. You can go next. Um, I guess I don't know. I started. I started off playing like bass guitar and guitar, and then I kind of uh, fell into being a vocalist because Mike was in a band in high school, and we were buddies in high school. And um, then his band broke up, and he was going to start a new band, and I was just like, oh, you know, I, sure, I could scream, whatever, and. So we uh, we were driving down the street in his truck and just like blasting some hardcore cassette tapes and I was and I was just like screaming out the window like all right and then all right and they were like all right I guess we can do it I guess I can do it sure and then just I don't know started you know having band practice and making demo tapes and everything and I still can't really do it I don't know <laughs> I mean listen it just sounds like. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's funny about John, like, like being a lead singer, it's it's like, to fall into it, you, you really have to have something that you want to say first, and then after that, it's kind of like, fuck it, just get up there and sing, and like, we kind of like, out of all of our friends, John was like the guy that just seemed like it seemed natural for, you know, and... And then, you know, we were so young. We're saying band, but come on, it was like five guys, like, didn't know what they were doing. And when John came in, it actually started sounding like, you know, like more of like a band. Because getting screaming right is actually a lot harder, I think, than people think, yeah. you know. <clears throat> and for me, with the guitar, like, I, I was like kind of a child of the MTV generation. Saw a couple rock videos, like uh, the ACDC for those about to rock video I saw when I was like, I don't know, 13 or 14, and it made me want to play guitar. But being in a band, didn't, for me, didn't really start until I, you know, started hanging out with John and some of my other friends in high school, and we started going to, like, hardcore, like, punk rock shows. And then I realized, like, wow, like, being in a band wasn't being necessarily being in Van Halen or ACDC. Yeah. It was like you could be in a band and play a show tomorrow if you wanted to. So, I mean, for me, it was kind of like a dual, dual thing. First, I fell in love with the guitar, but then I fell in love with being in a band, you know. Okay. Uh, let's discuss a little bit about your upcoming album, uh, mm -hmm. The Eter uh, Eternal Return, which will be released on June 23rd, 23rd, 23rd yeah, through Victory Records. <laughs> uh, where have you taken the album title and what does it mean to you guys? Um, I mean, the album title is basically about <clears throat> kind of like everything coming full circle with our band and it's about... It's kind of about our a re, our band has having like a rebirth because we're finished our cycle with Victory Records and so and we have like a new member and everything too so <clears throat> it's kind of about <clears throat> like a death and a rebirth happening at the same time and I don't know just about everything we've experienced with the band and up till now and we'll see what happens in the future I don't know it should be should be an awesome record. I mean, it is an awesome record. It should be. I hope. I hope people think it's awesome. I hope people check it out. Uh, you recorded the album with producer Brian McTurnan. Uh How was it like to work with him again? Yeah, it was cool. It was cool going back to him. And we we're kind of like, we we're kind of trying to go back and, you know, redevelop our sound a little bit too, and go back to our old style a little bit. So it was cool to go back and work with the dude that did those old records and. Yeah, it was awesome. What do you think, Bomber? Oh, I, I would just say, like, I mean, the theme, the eternal return, it kind of works into, it kind of, like, when John came up with it, it kind of, like, fell into, like he said, like, you know, we had a new guitar player. We were kind of, like, finishing a, a really, like, dec a decade sort of on Victory Records of, of one way of doing the band. And then, you know, the last thing for me is the music, it was like, 
with every record, we took the sound, this like kind of melodic death metal, and we pushed it in kind of these different ways. And this time, it was kind of like returning to like the original thing, which was like, what what do we like, and what do people like about Darkest Hour? Instead of like taking every record and going, all right, this is what we do, so now we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna push it this way. It was more like. What is it about this band that people like, and what is it that we're really trying to do? And when we started looking at that, we started realizing, like, to to get a clear picture of that, we kind of had to go back to the beginning, you know. And to do that, it was it was really helpful to have Ryan because he had perspective of the band before and now, and that that was definitely I think the biggest contribution was just the ability to kind of like take in where the band has gone and what the band has pushed and made happen and then also look at it through a microscope and go hey what do the people out there like like about the band and how do we emphasize that in a way so that it's a it's a record that is really defines the sound of the band you know so uh, if you guys compare it to your previous deliver us album uh, how does oh. it differ from okay this is what i this is what i say all the time and john john might think differently but uh I, I think it definitely has all the speed and aggression of Sadist Nation. It's very, like, pissed off, you know. It has definitely the songwriting and a lot of the style of Undoing Ruin. You know, we kind of went for that there, and it still has, like, the progginess of Deliver Us. still has a ton of crazy guitar stuff, but it's not really so much about, uh, for me, like, taking the record and pushing it and making it crazy. It was, like, finding a way to make it all of those things, like, really fast and aggressive, really great songs, really proggy in places, you know what I mean? And kind of taking it into a goulash and mixing it all up. And then and then it's kind of cool because what you have is actually a fresh sounding Darkest Hour record that sounds like a combination of all the great aspects of the other ones. So what can you say about the lyrics? What subjects are you dealing with this album? Uh, it, it deals a lot with, you know, just our... <clears throat> whole experience with the band you know up till now and like i don't know there's a lot of it's kind of all over the place i mean every you know every song is about something totally different but the overall concept is just about how you know we're kind of this like rebirth of our band and getting a chance to start over and you know a little bit about your summer plans what kind of plans you have towards the summer uh i read that you have that summer slaughter tour coming up yeah we're doing the that's pretty much right when we get home from this we have about a week off or so and then we <clears throat> just jump right on the summer slaughter tour for it was like five weeks or something yeah, really long, time. long time so between that and this that's kind of our summer pretty much so and the record's going to come out you know on that tour so yeah. that'll be really exciting to see and then you will be continuing to support it Yeah, and then we'll keep touring. We got a fall tour coming up, and uh, a couple—I don't know which ones. We got a couple other tours in the in the works, but yeah. we'll see what happens. Yep, yeah, we'll see. You'll <laughs> see. It's a surprise. Thank you really much for both of you for doing this with us. Uh, anything you want to say as a closer to your European fans? Um, thanks for the support. Hope you guys like the new stuff, and uh, see y'all soon. Yeah, thanks. Check it out. The Eternal Return, June 23rd. And uh, we'll see you over here. Surf Helsinki.